welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast hosted by two bestest of best pals, uh, brothers from other mothers, and living life to the fullest. That was weird. Um, as always, I will be swearing. If you don't like that, go f*** yourself. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snapchat. Uh, what's the other one? YouTube, at Stay Relevant Podcast. We come out every Monday. Uh, you can watch that every Friday. Friday. And then we have a bonus episode every Thursday, which you can watch every Sunday on YouTube. So that's Monday, Monday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. This, no, I'm glad you didn't get involved in this that. This is some That's... kind of podcast. I've got my mate calling me at the minute, and uh, he's... He, you've answered it, I'll give you the call back. <laughs> <I'm doing laughs> Gary, you've just made your uh, entrance on the Staying Relevant podcast. Yeah, this is yeah, it. Yeah, man. Yeah, Guys, we're actually here. We're, we're doing it. We're doing this. Stay, staying Relevant podcast. This is happening, boys. Come I'm on. so man. glad you're here. When but, did Sam first ask you about doing this? Was I it in the could. jungle? Of course he did. First thing he said to me when I met him, hi, I'm, I'm Sam, can you come and do Sam Relevant podcast? Literally. <laughs> that was the first only thing, first. That was the only mission I gave him, was just get as many people as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it worked. We're here. Yeah. He did you say it to both of them. He didn't boy, actually say did. that to me. He just said, it's Tony Bell, you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's Tony Bell, you. And it sticks with me when he said, I said to him, you all right, it. champ? And he meant, I can't believe it's Tony Bell, you just called me champ. Unbelievable. Do you know, that is pretty cool. I'm mean, still not used to it, to be fair. Do you know what Pete actually said to me when we had got you guys to, to come in here? He went, how much have you had to pay them to come in? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tony, you've come from fucking Liverpool down here. I know, mate. Tony. Yes. Don't worry about that. Like, and he got it quicker than me. I was the one that's late and I've come from half an hour up the road. What's all that about? It's, mate, it's London traffic, isn't it? You know what I mean? Terrible, mate. Nightmare. No, Terrible. mate, I'm not letting them get away with it that easy, mate. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologies. Do you know what I'm not I getting love? away with it that easy, mate. Look at us. The guys. The boys. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, this is, don't be that guy. Why is it like, like everything weird? No, but we're we back. are. We're the boys and we're back in town. We are, yeah. And, and, and I think it's only right to sort of like, to start at the beginning you know, mm. for everybody involved. And so I just, I want to get this out there. First impressions. <laughs> yeah. I, do you know what? Actually, you just take a step back for a minute. Okay. Because no one gives a fuck about your first impressions. <laughs> okay. Boys, <laughs> did you have any idea who the fuck Sam was before Don't you met lie. him in the jungle? Of course I did. I've, I've definitely met you before. 100%. Somewhere along the lines we've, we've met. <laughs> And I, you know, I heard rumours that Sam was, was going to be in there. Your house? It was, yeah, yeah. it was. Um, you know, as always, you're expecting Sam to be a tad excited when when you uh, first meet him, and he completely lived up to every expectation. He was very excited, and I was so excited as well. Do you know what I mean? So it was good, really good. I feel like you're lying. I'm not lying. I promise you. Um, I promise. Because I don't know anyone that's excited about seeing Sam. So <laughs> that, that would be a first first time for everything. Tony, you had no idea who he was. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point in lying or dressing up in any way, shape or form. And I was absolutely amazed he knew who I was, to be told. Oh, like him. obsessed. I, he, I, like, I was fully obsessed. Stunned. To the, 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 because I think you was you were leaked as, as potentially going in. Yeah, um, and at that stage, I still hadn't signed. Uh, do you not? No. Yeah. So, and obviously, Marv, we knew you were going in. And like Sam, when he was going out there, I said to him, you know, about the people that were going in and we was going through people. And he said, I'm just so excited to meet Marvin and Tony. It's literally what he said before. And, and I think he basically forced himself upon both of you. <laughs> and you didn't really have a fucking choice, did you? Well, you didn't have a choice because you're stuck in a jungle. So you have to have, you know, you have to become friends. <laughs> yeah, it was either it was either but, Sam or, or Farage. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, uh, when you put it like that, I mean, it's a quite a quick choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so what did you first think of him then, Tony, when you first met him and he came up to you like a fucking weird little lap dog trying to shag your well, leg? the or first what time I'd seen him, uh, the God's honest truth was, I thought, so I was late in. So I was in the hotel room and I got me phone took and everything like that. So I'm on lockdown. I'd obviously, I'd seen the leaked cast, but I didn't, I'm not going to lie, I didn't pay attention. I, I basically knew no one besides Marvin. I obviously knew Marv most because Why do you like Marv? Because he's and one I, of your favourite songs ever. I loved that song. Well, at that stage, I didn't know Marvin had wrote the song. I heard that one when we got into the jungle. But I've always loved that song. It's, so a, it's a bizarre JLS. fact, by the way. Tony Bell, you love in... I won't say he loves JLS, but he loves Love You More, one yes, of our I songs. Song, like, it was just mad. Anyway, I do sorry, like JLS, sorry. JLS, by the way. I do like JLS. No, 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 no. But, but that song no. is one of my favourite no, songs. No, I agree with Marvin. It was out of nowhere. Yeah. Tony comes his mum and goes, oh my God. You sing my favourite song. <laughs> it was I'm literally I'm, like that. I'm still stunned. This is Tony Bellew, and I'm like, okay, I'm expecting everybody in love or beat again. Yeah. He pulls out "Love You More." <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, this is it's a big song, but it's not one of 
the biggest. You know what I mean? Started so, singing it to Marv yeah. as well. It's good. He's got a good voice as well, by the way. Very good. Uh, they're, they're lying bastards. The whole lot. <laughs> but anyway, I can't sorry. Sing so, to save so my you, life. You've looked at the group, right? You've looked at the list. I've seen the list. I, I, I knew Farage was. Who else did I know? Uh, you, Marvin Farage. My mind. I, I knew. I knew Eastenders. So I, I definitely knew Danny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Frankie must have known. I knew Frankie the Tory was. Yeah. 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 Uh, Fred? I'm a punchy bastard. I know Fred, yeah. I knew Fred was. So it's not the only one you didn't it's know. Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, so I didn't have a clue who Grace was. I didn't have a clue. I didn't have a clue Britney Spears had a sister. <laughs> she didn't have a clue Jamie was. So the first time I seen Sam was I was in a hotel room. So uh, a runner called Claire stuck stuck them on the screen. So she showed Self. me the first two episodes, yeah. And she uh, she went, and, I, and I'm not going to lie, I just thought... What the fuck's up with him? <laughs> I thought, where the fucking hell have they got him from? <laughs> and and that's the God's honest truth. I, I, I told, and I just thought, oh my Lord. And she was like, he's absolutely brilliant, isn't he? And I was thinking... That's one word for it. You want me... Like Claire was like, he's great. And I was like, you want me to live with him, don't you? And I was like, he's got more energy than any of my children. And one of them's three. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, he doesn't stop, does he? And I was like, he can't be like that all the time. He must rest or sleep at some point. And she was just like, just watch it, Tony. And I kept talking all through the what she showed me. Yeah. So did you get to watch what was going I on before you yes. went in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. fucking hell. They showed me... Uh, they showed me the first episode where you guys were on a building yes. and then, yeah. then you were in a desert in the middle of nowhere and a skydive and, yeah when when uh, Josie stuck her head in a tank in, in a, in a, yeah. In yeah, a yeah, canister yeah. thing yeah. they showed me that and Grace and I've seen yours as well yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you've done so I'd seen them episodes and then that was all I'd seen and then they basically just the next morning they said off you go off you go do you know what? so this this so I annoyingly, I was really upset about this. Me and Marvel on different teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so you know when you came in, it was like that high school vibe. Yeah. It was like one team over there, one team over there. And I was like, oh no, like all the like my boys were on that yeah, side. Yeah, we got split up, man. Yeah, we got split up. Home it really and away. Sucked. Oh, Nick. It was the home and away team. So it was, so it was Marv and Nick, um, that, like who were like my bestest bestest pals there until you obviously turned up as well tone yeah. and um and so i was already a bit upset about that i was like, oh no but you know the real reason for that was because they requested no i knew you could say that they didn't <laughs> but then tony came in with frankie the tory yeah now i'd never met frankie before and actually i mean what i mean you will both agree what an absolute legend the love yeah, this proper. In the entire world Absolutely. having said that when they both came in I was like oh, if we don't get Tony I was like I need to get Tony on our team so much I was literally when Tony was doing the race you know how to pick out that bollock with your mouth yeah. I was going go on Tony you're meant to be impartial I was like go on Tony go on Tony he's never met before in his life right and then obviously he lost it went to the, the away team and I was it's the most jealous I've ever been in that entire jungle because all yeah. of you were together. Yeah, but mate, we were in bloody Snake Rock. Do you know what I'm saying? You guys won the Breakfast of Champions. Like, so you definitely had the better deal. And actually, do you know what? So this is something Pete asked me. He was like, um, look, boys, when, when, when you and the boys are there, like, try and tell us a story maybe that other people haven't heard and stuff like that. Yeah. And one of the best stories that never got shown, right? I'm going to let Marvin tell this, but I'm going to give you a little bit of outline, is when... Tony, bless him, and Nigel drank all of those horrible drinks, right? Oh, yeah, yeah And then yeah. you returned to That's Snake painful. Rock. So yeah. Painful. What happened then? We returned to, yeah, that, that all, you know, all of the cockroach juice and the pigs. I, I, I've got to say, was. watching, that's the worst thing I watched. It was horrible. The and they weren't small either, was, like, no. Nah. What, 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 so I went first, <laughs> Nigel went second. I drank four pints. When before Nigel's fourth, Nigel said, I'm going to stop because they're too thick. You literally couldn't suck mine up through a straw. Oh, that was thick. like cement. It was a brain, and I was got and, and and I still so I drank the four. Nigel drank three. But I'm telling you now, it was that thick. It was the best way to explain it is you know when you get a slush, the bottom of the slush. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing was like the bottom of a slush. Oh. And Nigel wanted to quit, right? And we're like, come on, Nigel, you've got to do it. You know, <laughs> fair play to Nigel. He, he was game for it, but they literally yeah. were undrinkable. Anyway, Big T, he's throwing up after everyone. Yeah. Like, literally, he's down in it. 
And then, you know, it's not staying up, is it? It's just, no. just getting rid of it. And that, you know, that, that, it's hard to watch, to be fair. Um, <laughs> know, Martin, song, he came song, back, yeah. Martin actually came back and went, it's really tough for us to watch. No, 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 it was because <laughs> the salty one stayed Bob, down. I'm looking at your face, man. It, it was tough to watch while smiling at the camera. <laughs> it was real tough, no, mate. Listen, you just felt for Tony and everything was coming up. And that was the right thing to do. Then Nigel, being Nigel, he's like, choice. Nigel wouldn't throw up. We get back to Snake Rock and he is literally in the corner of the camp like this. And he's just going, Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm like Nige. Like Nige, there's no pride in holding it down. Just go and chuck it up, stick your fingers down your throat and get it all out. He's like, what did he say? He said, There's no medals for keeping yeah, it down. He no, said, no, no, I'm too proud. I'm gonna keep it down. <laughs> like this. And he wouldn't do it. And you know, I don't know how quickly Tony felt better after it, no, but Nigel was in bad. a bad way for a couple of days. He kept it all in. Hey, was so I was, funny though. When I was they... on the toilet because when we when we got accepted into their camp. Yeah, I was still going to the toilet. Yeah, he was. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was going, it was coming out of both ways. I remember, I remember oh, when we went mate. in as well. I think I pulled you quickly and I said, "Right, Sam, I know you're a big fan of Tony, but please, bro, just be chill. Like, don't be jumping on his back. Just relax. You know, like I, I'm cool and like you can do that with me. But Big T." Just take it easy. Well, this is what I was going to say. Have you watched any of it back? I've, no. I've seen most of You've it. Seen, so seen so seen basically, when um, when you rejoined the camp, mm. everyone, pretty much everyone in Sam's team had sat Sam down and <laughs> gave him really? the Tony talk. And really? what I mean by that, they'd all sat down and gone, listen, we love the way you are, but maybe just tone it down a little <laughs> yeah. when Tony comes in. Yeah. So Sam, literally, I'm not even joking, it was like it was like watching a kid at Christmas. When you all come in, he was like this. <laughs> he was fucking shaking like a shitting dog, right? Just for you to come in. And then he goes running up to you and stops just in front of you and goes, can I hug you? And it's the creepiest thing I think I've ever seen. And you just went, yeah, right, mate. <laughs> and then he literally walks off and you can see him. They go, the camera goes to him and he goes, yes. You're the only person that he really tried to to not be over the top with at the beginning. Because we told him. Marv, because everyone he told me down. Like, Marv Liz set got a me down. proper pep talk with him. Yeah. I said, Sam, you've got to be chill because Tony, like, he's a lovely guy. I spent two or three nights with him, yeah. but just relax because I know what he's like. Yeah, but you had asked him all the questions. I hadn't been allowed to ask him any questions yet because we were in different camps. And then, like, when my, one of my favourite visions, right, and I'm not even there, is when they're in this horrible camp called Snake Rock and it's shitting it, it down, storms, just like l lightning and rain coming down. And just the, the all I can imagine is them sitting on these logs, Tony throwing up and shitting over there. <laughs> 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 Nigel going, oh. Ferrari oh. going off like an old generator and in then, the corner. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then Marvin going, there's no prizes for keeping it down, <laughs> Nigel. Get it out. Just it's get it out, no. down with rain. That was so oh, it's fucking horrible. funny. And that was the first time that I we had all been together yeah. after yeah. that. And we never, ever looked back. Did what we? a lovely moment that was. What a you lovely, I mean? lovely the moment. The Three Musketeers. Yeah. yeah. Axwell, Murph. And Teabag. It's not tea bag shit face. It's <laughs> <laughs> tea bag. Do you know what is um uh well like I, I've not really watched the the show before. This is the first year that I've I've watched it. From from what everyone's told me, this is the first year really where everyone kind of properly got oh, on. It looked yeah. like everyone really got on in camp. Because yeah. most years there's like a, a proper tension, although there was a little bit between a couple of people, you pretty much all got on quite well, didn't you? I, so Yeah, we did. Yeah. I who was the biggest seen. shit stirrer and problem person? <laughs> <laughs> What's the shit I don't think there really was. Like, obviously, I had a couple of things, you know, with, with Nella and Fred, and then Josie and Fred, and then Nigel and Fred would go at it. Is there a, is there a common theme? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> I think you've answered that for us. No, but you know what? The thing with Fred, and listen, if we never had him in that camp, oh, we would have died. It yeah. would have been. Yeah, awful. You know, yeah. this guy's a proper chef, you yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. understandably, you know, he was looking over Josie's shoulder. But what he didn't see, and I've, again, I've watched a lot of it back, you know, he was just giving advice, you know what yeah, I mean? Just, yeah. just helping out. When so I think back, I think I might have played played the two of them, but not off against each other. I tried to, like, be nice to both. Like, I tried to say, Fred, chill out. It's going to be okay. Just yeah. She knows what she's doing. Then I go, Joe's okay. He's just trying to help. So I was trying to, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah be Kofi Annan between the two of them. Yeah. But instead you were just fucking whining right <laughs> yeah. up in the middle. Yeah, There's fucking Tony in the corner it's, going, it's all, stirring you know what you said the about you? <laughs> stirring It's the only beans. now when I've just thought about it and I've thought, does that look like I'm staying there or not? But I, I just tried to keep them both happy. Do you, know, yeah. do you know what I love? One of my Being favorite moments horrible. from us three was when we did that motel thing, right? Oh and so it was when God. I was sheriff and you were deputy, Marvin. 
And uh, that was and the worst Tony, night. That was so the worst night. I was like, I'm going to do it, right? Because I'd just been made captain. So I was like, I've got to better fucking do it. And then obviously, Deputy uh, Axwell came and was like, well, I'll go too. And then it went silent, right? And then Tony had only been there for like a day. And Tony went, well, no one else fucking said anything. So he said, I'm going to do it. And I couldn't have been happier. I was literally like, oh my God, we're actually going. Do you know what? If you remember, the, that was the first time we had to vote ourselves yeah. to do a, tra yeah, a yeah. trial. So when it was like uh, everyone voted, everyone kept going, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And I felt like I, that's it because Fred kept saying, I want to do it, I want to do it, I want to do every trial. I was like, okay, well, I didn't really vote for myself. I thought just people want to do it, just do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when it come to, they said Misery Motel and... Like, no one just put their hand up. Nah. And I'm sitting there nice. Because they said we were spending the night, and I yeah. think we were just Everyone just went sounds. So I just went straight to I just went, I'm doing it. No, he went first. Oh, yeah, he went first. Tony went first, and then you went, and I'm like, I just, I'm like, bloody hell, was, Sam. We just <laughs> got, we've just got the bus. <laughs> like, our first decent night's sleep, and you've bloody put us up. So, so yeah, you put your hand up. I'm like, I'm going to have to do it. I, no, not the only reason I said it was because there was women there. That's the only reason I just, I just, the team. I just yeah. thought, you can't let one of these do it. And I'd seen how Nella had gone on. I mean, fucking hell, she'd seen spiders in camp and the screaming was madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't, now, I never said this on the whole thing and I don't think anyone was on it. I'm absolutely shit scared of spiders. I hate spiders. I know. But I didn't show that while I was there. Because mm. I thought if I show spiders on there, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm in for a bad one. Yeah. So I hate spiders. I hate everything really, but I was just able to, Try and hide a little bit. One of my, that, that was probably my favourite try. So do you know why it was mine as it well? Was good. Because we bonded so hard. You didn't see this, and you were asking <laughs> thing, it. right? So basically, <laughs> this is literally like the set first or second night that we've like that I've been introduced to Tony as well as everyone else coming back to camp, and uh, so Marvin's at the front. We're walking down to this misery motel, and it's quite a big walk, and it's absolutely raining like you wouldn't believe, right? Oh, yeah, so, you need you need. Mate, I was going to say, so we're, getting, so we're getting walked down this hill, right? And I slip and I literally studs up yeah. on Tony's leg just with my massive boots on, <laughs> sliding down the hill, went straight double foot yeah. into his into It was his a red card. It was a red card. Hunting. Into his into leg. Tony then and goes down. It stayed. I couldn't, <laughs> did he take you down as well? Mate, no, yeah. He, the leg, the, 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 the standing fucking leg. Fucking boy Keen Harlan fucking oh, into Mate, honestly, God, the standing leg took, took a belt and a thought you just so nearly snapped my leg yeah i swear his whole body weight landed on me leg there. imagine but looking up at him <laughs> like that and he's looked down and he goes even you just snapped my leg i'm just going there with legs up going i'm so sorry marv was at the front because i was in the middle he had marv me then sam and yeah. i just and, and i remember going like marv was just just walking away with Glide. I just wanted to get there, get it done. Do you remember the size, the, the, size yeah, the, spider, the size of the bugs? Yeah, that spider, that huntsman on the um, it was a huntsman the size of my hand. Yeah, on a, on a because we see, like it was the when you're in camp, they're obviously on the lookout for any wild animals or any wild insects. But when you're actually walking, you walk through the jungle to get to trials, and they don't clear it. Like, they don't camp, clear, they clear it, it a little bit. Don't they, they clear they, our yeah, section as much, like, as, they as, much as they can, as yeah, much yeah. as they can. But in our, but when you walk out of our section. It's the wild jungle, and yeah. it made the there's a fucking huntsman the size of my hand. Yeah. They shone a torch on it, and I was just like, I'm not going anywhere near that. That fucking jumps, <laughs> mate. You're dead. Yeah. One of my favorite things, right, is when we do this misery motel. Please, if you're listening to this, watch it back because it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> me and Marvin, but again, I only just met Tony, right? But me and Marvin are watching. You know, you've got to look through the windows at people going to try and find stars. <laughs> we're like trying to help so we're allowed to lean through the window I don't know if you saw it we're leaning through and trying to help Tony find the stars in this motel thing Marvin right? goes in first by the way Marvin went in single first star. absolutely smashed piece of piss. it think <laughs> Tony went in second, made it look right? that easy <laughs> well, Tony, I thought mine's going to be nice and easy now Marvin pissed it Tony goes in really really relaxed right put me in help he goes in and just gets like awful all over him and then get, they dropped cockroaches and they it's like have you ever watched scarab beetles in Mummy where they're all over yeah, yeah, yeah. writhing around you he starts punching the air. <laughs> he starts going. He's like shadow boxing. Mate, yeah, he literally. He starts going. Get him off, man! Love it. Get Love him it. Off, it, it man. The sounds are. He's going. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. Nuts. And then the camera. I don't know if the camera shows. Me and Marv are dead. It was so laughing at it. It's the isn't funniest it? thing I've ever seen. And he turns round. <laughs> Looks at us. Oh, he wants to like, bang oh. us out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so bad. But Mate, one of the, the feeling. That seen. was the first time I had. Uh, that was the first time I'd been covered in bugs. So at oh, this stage, yeah. these guys have been seeing the bugs, felt them on them, <laughs> the smell of awful. This is the first time 
I've been at this stage. All I've done is had a pig's testicle in my mouth. <laughs> It's a bit of a, it was a bit of a common thing after that for you, just getting covered in shit and bugs, yeah. really, wasn't it? That last trial... Sam was around me an awful lot. ...was Ooh. that oh. one that you did when you were here. Yeah. That that, last, that, the, that the last one, thing. I'm not sure whose was harder, yours or yours. Tony's. Because I couldn't have done Tony's. That was medieval. That was, I've yeah, never seen been, everything bit. Yeah. I, I, I don't care what anyone says, me or Worms can bite. <laughs> this is brilliant. You know me or Worms bite? He couldn't stop talking about this. They put, actually, they put the offal on him, and now I know why, because it made things hungry. It <laughs> put the offal on him. And he's going, the mealworms are biting. The guy's like, mealworms don't bite, mate. And he's like, they're biting, <laughs> biting me. <laughs> That's, That's all he kept saying. They don't bite, mate. <laughs> Nothing bites. And I was like, fucking don't tell me it's biting. Everything's biting. It's just ridiculous. That last one was horrible. Was that... Mate, yours, yours was very, very mate, tough, You have mate. to eat a lot. No, the stuff you had to eat. For the whole fucking two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> he flew to Australia specifically for that reason, mate. Oh, man. Oh, I but yeah. What was it? Was it um, pig's vagina? That was the one that was, was the worst. That was hard one. Yeah, I threw it up in my hand and then had to put it back in my mouth. We, yeah, I mean, like, all the eating oh, ones God. always look really hard, but I, I, that's what I said about that smoothie one. I feel like that looks harder than the eating because you can kind of chew a bit and swallow. The, yeah. That is just all in your... The worst right. was the vomit I mean? fruit. The vomit fruit was the worst. Vomit Why fruit, do yeah. you think, boys, that we got along so well? Well, I don't think they had a choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said that already. We kind of had to. Yeah, it's persistence pays, really. Why, it? why are we such good mates? I think I think for us two, obviously that initial few days before Big T come in. Why is Tony looking we, at the sky? <laughs> we, we just... We're trying to find a reason. We bonded over JLS. You know what I mean? Obviously, we got on really well and... Um, I felt sorry for you. You know what I mean? There, <laughs> there we you go. Know, that's, that's, there we go. <laughs> well, I thought, I mean, listen, I just, I didn't, you, when you don't go in anywhere with an agenda and you're just willing to get to know people, it took me a while. So yeah. it mm. wasn't just straight away. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at figuring people out and I figured out quite quickly. You two, Nick, Frankie, and, and, and most of the others, it was just genuinely good people. Yeah. 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 That's that's what you're right though, T. I don't think any of any of us I think maybe one or two had a, a general you know, no, a bit of a game plan, but none of us did. You know, what I mean? we just went in there just for ourselves and just got on with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So on that note then, like I obviously know why, because you've always wanted you love the show, like you've always watched it and you love it, and that's why I you did it. Sorry. Why the fuck I do fuck miss it? You I do, do you not miss it? But that's what I mean. No, why the fuck did you do it? No, and why the fuck did you do it? For me, like Sam, big fan of the show, you know. Um, I've been asked, I've been asked to do a few, you know, not there's no show similar to that. Been asked to do other shows I said no to, but always said to Rosh, if I was going to do one of these shows, it would be I'm a celeb, and I've never been asked before. It's the mm. first time. Rosh had been asked for a few years. I was going to say because I spoke to Rochelle about it, and she was like, I've been asked like a few times. And yeah, I was like, why yeah, have you not done? She was like, I couldn't think of anything worse. Nah, she <laughs> absolutely no fucking <laughs> no chance girl. on earth. I would be Mate, doing she, that. When so she came off. in at the end, she literally was petrified. She was there for. 30 minutes, you know what I mean? And she was like, she couldn't believe this is what we were in. Yeah. But yeah, for me, it was just a no-brainer. As soon as I got asked, I was like, yeah. And to be fair, it was the first time in 15 years that I had like a window. To, mm. I wasn't doing JLS stuff or radio stuff. So yeah, it was just a bit of a no-brainer for me, mate, to be fair. And I do miss it. I do. Yeah, you do. do. When you're in there, you can't wait to get out. But since I've been back, can't wait to get and back since in. I watched it. Really? Yeah, it's you mad. Go back in, you pair. I would go back in. I would. I would go back in. What about you, Tom? <laughs> so, do you want the gods on a shoot a wire when it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my wife's 40 <laughs> this year. Well, my wife was 40 that year, and I thought we went to her birthday. She's always wanted to go to Australia. And I thought, oh, this is brilliant, mate. You're fucking brilliant. <laughs> so, you're fucking wait, brilliant. Two birds no, 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 no. So I thought, <laughs> mean? I thought she, I've got to, I've got to do, she's 40, she, I've got to do something that money can't really buy. Yeah. And the situation, so I thought, right, they're offering her a few quid. I thought, it weren't the money, but I thought, it's a few, I'm going to get paid. I said, she's going to get the holiday of an absolute lifetime. And if it was me, it was me general thinking here, I'm going to be out after the week, if that, because. Who's going to fucking vote for the Scouser? That was my thought. Plan. <laughs> so, I thought, I'm going to get a free holiday, all expenses played, my missus is going to get to go to Australia, which she's always wanted, yep. and me kids and are going to have the time So effectively what you're saying is, Tony, is that um, for Rachel's 40th, you got her a holiday with Pete Wicks in Australia. Yeah. That's, that's basically, <laughs> that's basically that's what Now, do you know if but, I'd have known who Pete was before <laughs> I'd have gone in there, right? I swear on my kids' lives, I'd have said, you fucking stay well. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what's mad? You, honest to God, Pete, if I'd have 
good see, looking. Me, if I'd have seen, I, you know and, and I, I didn't know because like me missing obviously knew you was. I had no idea who Pete was, and if I'd have known Pete fucking Wicks looked like that, and because all his he told me was he's the guy with what's the hat? You should, I know it's a fedora now, but what did I call it? Trilby. Oh, the Trilby. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a guy yeah. with a Trilby. I was thinking, yeah, because he was like, Sam said, yeah, yeah, you book Pete Jockey. Yeah, Sam, 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 Sam said, like, so, so, a couple of the people said in the camp, yeah, Peter, he's a lovely looking boy. And I said, I thought, yeah, fucking fella with a Trilby, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was thinking, and then Sam seen him, he said, it's Pete told say, it's not a Trilby, it's a fedora. <laughs> yes. And I thought, okay, same fucking thing. And I was, all I could think was, was, Pete Doherty. Pete Doherty, I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's And then I seen him and I just thought, oh my fucking God. Well, do you he know is what? a good looking fucker, by is. the way. He is. This, we, this segues really nicely over to Pete's jungle experience. Because look, everyone's fucking watched awful. ours. Pete had his own jungle experience. I think which... Pete thought that he was going to have an all expenses yeah, paid for yeah. a lovely time in Australia. <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. You know what I, mean? so I, I ride bikes, right? So I was going to have a bike delivered to me. I was going to tour up and down the coast and do all that. I didn't realise this dickhead didn't tell me that I was going to be on the fucking bus every morning. at fucking 4am every morning. Yeah, every mate. morning. I don't every morning and sitting in that yourself, catering Sam? tent. I don't know either. It's that word. But do you know what's mad is like Rachel from the beginning had said um, when, when you went in, she was like, uh, he just thinks he's going to come straight out. He thinks he's going to come straight out. And I kept saying to her, I really don't think he is. I really don't think he is. I really don't think he is. And it was uh, uh, literally up until the final day, mm. um, she was like, there's no way, there's no way Tony's going to be in the top two. And I was like, I, I, I'm almost certain. I bet he is. Oh, yeah, and she yeah, could just, not fucking believe it. She knows she's the same way we're from. You just don't, I don't think I've, I've ever seen a scouse do the show. Because people just generally, I mean, our, the perception of us, being from Liverpool, being not Scousers, is just, we're painted so badly. And I just thought, I, I, I can only be me. So I'm yeah. going to go in there and I'm going to be me and people aren't going to like that because of where I'm from. But obviously, mate, me people fell in love with you, mate. He didn't eat know. for four days. Do you, do you know what <laughs> he did at the beginning? He refused, <laughs> he literally. He refused to eat. He went obviously, on hunger strike. We're, we're, we're used to eating the rice and the beans and we're over the fact it's but terrible. This is, but this is the but best He refused. Part. No, man, I'm not eating that. <laughs> but this is what really made me laugh is when you were eating the fucking, you were going, oh, this is really nice. And I think for the first couple of days, Tony suddenly went, this is shit. He did, he did. <laughs> like, literally. He did. Like, so why are you fucking not saying that this is nice? It's it not, is shit. Mate, no, he got so, believe. he literally, I couldn't understand it. He's such a big guy and he just wouldn't eat. And I was like, this is mental. You're going to die. Even when we were cooking like the proper meals, <laughs> yeah. he still would only eat that the bits shit. of meat. Do you know what I mean? Like, that he wouldn't touch that, the veg. That was shit. It was all I, I, shit. I, I didn't mind and it, And you mate. lunatics want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did they give you? They, like, was he going in that fucking room and they were giving you something that I don't know about because it was horrendous? No. Can it was I, a nightmare. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> the only thing that got me through was you two. <laughs> and Nick. I loved Frankie. And, can and I, the, can I ask of the you a question? Was, and then I do yeah. actually want to move on to, to, to Pete's experience. The way he's told it to me is fucking hilarious with both of your families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I watched a clip back of me slapping your head right, with a mosquito on it. That I was, was a proper <laughs> slap as well. Have you, have you yeah. seen that back yet, Tone? I've that now I've seen three things through social media. I've not watched a single episode, but mm. I've seen the cyclone. I've seen that fucking slap. <laughs> yeah. And I've seen me lying on a plate being eaten for fucking dear life. Mate, yeah. they're, they're the only three things I've seen the whole thing. So I've never, uh, like I said, I've, I've not really like seen the show before. And I, not just because Sam was in there, but I've never seen a social media presence like the one on this show. Yeah. yeah. And it was all based off of you three. The JLS and everybody in that was fucking everywhere. Yeah. All of the social yeah. stuff, you guys went viral. And so did you with all the slapping, the hugging <laughs> and all the other stuff that he was doing to you. And you obviously, you guys didn't realise that no. like being in there. But on when, the outside, when, when you, you were, all, you three, were, you could not go through social media I without know, seeing yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody in love yeah, yeah, yeah. or fucking you getting slapped or him hugging you and you going, oh, for fuck's sake, like, it was everywhere, the, literally the, everywhere. The best bit for me, or one of the best bits, was when he was asleep in the hammock. Oh, with a throwing. And Sam, you know yeah, he was, he was throwing I actually got out. bits of tree, Sorry, or whatever yeah, it was. things I've seen, I've seen that. And I didn't know about that until I'd seen it on my phone. I, I, <laughs> I was on the top bunk, and I could see him, and I was like, Sam, what the fuck are you doing? And you know what he does? He's so, he's such an annoying little brother, right? <laughs> As soon as someone falls asleep... You weren't going to say brother then, were you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what it's like. That's exactly what it's like. As soon as anyone would fall asleep in a jungle, he would wake them up. Like, yeah, like Sam, let them sleep. So, so he's, he's, he's falling asleep and he's picked up these... Oh, it's not stones, like little bits of trees. Little berries, right? Down, right? Like They're little quite rockets. heavy. They weren't yeah. like light. 
And he's <laughs> lobbing one and then ducking behind the bush. And all through his sleep, Tony's like this. He's like, like, like this, looking up at the, the trees. And then he, then he goes back to sleep and Sam lobs another one. He does this for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And he's, he's getting absolutely, he's fuming. Thinking, what's all this? Where's but then coming didn't from? Tony go, oh, stuff falling off the trees. Didn't, didn't you go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the worst part was, right? <laughs> so I'd lie on my hammock almost every day. And someday, like... Because it was the, it was the very edge of the canopy, and things yeah. would drop off the canopy. If the like, wind blew, it would all fall they down. Would, they, it? But these things would fall on you. So yeah. I had no idea he was doing it. And over the days, because I, I used to go back to the same hammock and have a, an afternoon rest each day, an things would drop on me. Rest. <laughs> Make that new because I would get up in the morning. I'd want to change the dunny. I'd want to get as much wood as I could. I I tried to tire myself as much as I could yeah. to take my mind off the hunger. Yeah, and and that's why it happened with me. So then I get to like one or two o'clock in the afternoon, and then that's when I would just go, I would go bump, and I'd just have half an hour. And then sometimes I would wake up in this bastard. Would be just <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. Other times things would just be hitting me on the head. Yeah. So like I said, I don't know what you have seen. I, uh, I just know what the fuck. I happened. got him in the eyeball at one point. That's what proper oh. woke him up. Yeah. I got him in the I was, eyeball. I said, Sam, you have got a death wish, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Do you know what I love though? Because I've seen that clip as well, and because I can't hear what Marvin and Nick are saying, right? Mm. Because they got mics on, so I've seen the clip. Marvin's going, "This guy. <laughs> it's, it's like this guy." <laughs> and I, because I can't see what Marvin's Jesus. reaction is over there. <laughs> Let, it, let the man sleep. Yeah, Marvin actually used to literally be like, be the one guy who'd be like, no, Sam, like, you, you got to let him sleep now. Because I'd go with a stick and he'd be like, you can't do it. And I'd be like, I really want to. I'm happy I got my own back. I got my own back. I think we'd eaten and Sam, Sam used to like to have a little lion to sleep in. I just poured water into his into his. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, You but, savage. Yeah, but he had, he had, he had like, he had, for once, he'd had the sleeping bag fully zipped up for some strange reason. I don't know why he'd done it. So I just poured water and then it must have went do you know what, do you know what's actually, mad that wouldn't have annoyed him he would have just gone oh my god Tony Belly just put water in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> you do it again do it again this is this is an interesting fact but like I think it's interesting is at the start <laughs> Marv, Marv you'll notice and Tony actually you actually Tony you notice as well because you were the worst when you get into this jungle right like there are, I know we say like, you know, they look for bugs. So they've got cameras everywhere, obviously, but they also look for the, the poisonous spiders. Yeah, the snakes. Poisonous snakes spiders, because they yeah. just sliver through camp. And if they ever do come into camp, the um, guys in ghillie suits who aren't allowed to speak to you come in and manoeuvre them away and you have to like not be where the guys are. Like they literally don't want you talking to anybody. Mm. Um, but there are, it's just mosquito central, leeches everywhere, ticks everywhere. Frogs. Like frogs jumping on Marvin's head when he's sleeping. Like, it is nice. the jungle where you are. Yeah. So the first night, and you see all this wildlife, and you're like, I've got to sleep in this. <laughs> and so on the first night, everybody, well, that was like a fortress, <laughs> you get like three layers of things. By the end of the first night, the first night everyone's zipped up <laughs> to their fucking cheekbones like there. And they're like, right, good night, everyone. And then no one can move because they're so strapped and up. you're like sweating. You're sweating out. <laughs> no one slept for the first three nights. Nah. And then by the, by the end of it, I literally slept with my boxes <laughs> just, <laughs> on just top of the quilt. On top of the quilt. Tony never came out of it. Tony zipped himself up every single <laughs> two night. Nights. The Would last you not... two nights I, I didn't zip up. When yeah. we, um, when Rochelle, Rachel and I went in to see you guys, mm. we were saying, because we were in that catering tent bit, obviously, which is fucking quite nice. And Rochelle said when she came back, she was like, the fucking flies and the shit when you actually go into the camp. And she yeah. went, but the weirdest thing is, Marv's so used to it, they were just landing on you, you weren't even noticing. And oh, everything yeah. that come, she was like doing this. Yeah, and you, yeah. Apparently they were just landing and you were just like, yeah, <laughs> carrying on talking. She, like, <laughs> they're all over your fucking head. When, and you were like, oh, when I knew that, that, yeah, exactly. When I knew that, yes, we're fully into jungle life. One night I sleep in a hammock. And I woke up and I felt this heavy thing on my chest. I looked down. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a massive frog. And I'm look, I'm look, and obviously if that happened anywhere else at any other time in my life, I would have completely freaked out. I looked at it and I went, oh, it's a frog. Bump. <laughs> yeah. And I went back to sleep. Yeah. So you just you literally you get, get accustomed used to, to everything. Now. It's, it's yeah. mad. And there was there was when Tony goes, um, oh yeah, I was, I, you know, I was afraid of spies, but I didn't let it show. You fucking well did, mate. Because when we were sleeping at Snake Rock after, you know, after we did the my hotel challenge. Yes. I'm waking up, right, and it's like four in the morning. You. I wake up. <laughs> yeah. Tony is literally pacing up and down this camp. He, I, this didn't get shown. He's pacing up and down the camp. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And he's like coming right close to me and like talking to himself. 
going <laughs> coming like really close to my bed at four in the morning. I'm like, this fucker's gonna kill me. Yeah. As he sat there going, this so guy, he's lost it. This yeah. guy, he's got jungle fever. Yeah. Like, the fucking me. guy's yeah. gone. He but the bomber's sleep. on the loose. He stayed he's... longer than he thought. Yeah. 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 He yeah. hit him hard. This. I was like, he's gonna kill me in my seat. I'm just getting a bit worried. And this guy, and I was like, I kept staying awake then for the rest of the time. And what was... for fear of death? The fear of death. He's got, look how big he is, yeah. and he's like right close to me, like mumbling into his like to himself. It was only when we woke up and I went, Tony, I don't mean to make it weird. Like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and he went, he went. I thought I saw a massive spider under your bed. And he went, I was trying to mess. He was like, I was trying to radio oh to some God. sort of security card to try and get it off your bed. Oh, and he was going under. Yeah. What were you saying? There was like a... So there was a huntsman by my bed that originally woke me up and it was by my head. So this fucking guy comes down. He goes, it was on the screen, wasn't it? It was on the, it was on the screen. Oh, I slept next to the screen. It was on the screen. Comes down. Anyway, he misses it, the fucking pillock. And he uh, he doesn't get it in the bucket. And he's just, don't worry, mate. It's only a huntsman. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> I was like, it's called a huntsman for a fucking reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so he fucked off. Anyway, I, I can't get back to sleep now. So I've seen a fucking big white spider. And I mean a white spider. Now I know. So I've, I've now, my mic is behind me above my head. And now it's, it's crawled past me and it's going over towards Sam. So it's now at Sam's leg of the bed. Something it's gonna go up the leg and then it's it bites him, he's finished, he's he's smoke. So could have done us a one baby there, Tony. <laughs> I've got the mic and I've gone to the guy, I'm back again, because I I've obviously <laughs> got the mic. <laughs> back, <laughs> back again. again. Yeah. I've gone, I'm back again. I said, now you need to get him back down here. This time he needs to catch this one because this isn't a normal huntsman. <laughs> it's a white spider. <laughs> so he must have left it five minutes yeah. and the, the spider weren't moving, and I've gone. Are you fucking deaf? I said, it's white. <laughs> and it could kill him. I said, I'm going to get a bit closer to it and have a look what it's like. Now, as you can imagine, I'm talking to myself on a bed. I'm now sitting up there. He's obviously, can, I didn't know he could hear me. I thought he was asleep. He's obviously pretending to be asleep. <laughs> this is the best story. Because he thought you were nuts and you were just trying to save him. Literally. Yeah. And I'm literally just, got, so I'm going to this fella, you need to hurry up, mate. Okay, I can see it. it's massive and it's white. He's obviously just thinking, I'm In the meantime, himself. Sam's there going, he's lost it. <laughs> he's, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Dude. So the guy comes down and uh, and he gets to Sam's bed and now it, he, he treads too close to it and too heavy footed. He's Johnny supposed Ken. to know what he's fucking doing. Anyway, it runs and it's gone under Sam's bed, but it's gone. Remember where the logs were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would stop the bed from going over the side. <laughs> yeah. It ran into the log. So I said, right, I'll pick the log up. I said, now you get it. I picked the log up, mate, and it fucking jumped and it just leaped. And he went, Don't worry, man, it's a water cricket. And I went, That's not a fucking cricket, mate. It's fucking huge. It's a spider. Don't worry, mate, it's all right. And I was like, it's fucking not, it's going to kill him. <laughs> and that was the end of the fucking Do you know what? Yeah. Do you, do you remember what? Tony's got a log holding him like that. Oh, this fucker's going to bash my brains in. <laughs> do you know what's, um, what was that? Was it Big Brother when they used to do that 24 yeah, hour fucking. That would have been so funny. Funny. Imagine they'd done 24 hour and everyone's oh. just watching Tony Bellew completely lose the plot. <laughs> yeah. Not knowing he's talking to things, just uh, going, it's going to kill in the him. Morning. I mean, we've got us <laughs> probably touched on another Tony, a beautiful Tony moment where Jamie Lynn Spears is. <laughs> is in the telephone box oh, trying to fuck. call home. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a phone. I mean, as people who watched it will know, like you, when you're doing the challenges, you, you get a phone call and it's Kiosk Kev and he's basically like, asked you the question. So you could only hear Kiosk Kev though. It's not an actual phone. It's basically just rigged up to Kiosk Kev's little bit. And so like, it's not a phone. You can't call anyone. You can only get called it's a from prop. him. It's a prop, yeah. But then Jamie... <laughs> Bless her. She misses her kids and she's a lovely girl as well. We can all agree. Yeah, she's she was fucking wicked. beautiful, Bam. like, soul. Yeah. But she goes into this thing. She's cried quite a few times already by this point. And she goes into this thing and she's, like, dialing, like, fever. She's dialing these numbers. And Tony turns around and goes, boys. <laughs> like, what? He goes, she's in the kiosk. <laughs> She's trying to call home. <laughs> so everyone's now watching. She spends half an hour in there, right? Yep. Comes out and Nick goes, I don't um I don't think it's a real phone. <laughs> Tony. Is it Tony's Tony, then back on that? Wait, Tony gets on yeah, the it's mic. It's me again. <laughs> I'm back again. You need to come and get her. He got on the fucking mic. He's just gone. really slowly when she always past gets on this phone and goes, 
Someone needs to take her into the place and have a chat. Thank you so much for listening to part one of this special episode with Tony Bellew and Marvin Humes. There was so much for the boys to catch up on that we've had to split it up. So make sure you come back on Thursday to listen to part two of all the antics. But in the meantime, have a fabulous week. Make sure you follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube at Staying Relevant Podcast. Just search us, uh, rate, review, do all the other stuff as long as you're nice. Ta-da, off your fuck.